Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm very, I'm very happy that we had the opportunity to to talk because uh, sometimes uh, I know that you are very busy and a lot of people want to talk to you. To, oh, to no, ask. you are you are a leader. You're a good leader. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. I hope so. I, I I try my best. I try my best. Okay, so yeah, I need. I know that I need to get bigger and stronger in order to do my jaguar form. Because I want your form to be the most beautiful form from Mexico. And it's not for me, it's for you, for, for your students in Mexico and, and South America. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, as, as a matter of fact, uh, I have a, a stu students in Bolivia, in Colombia, in Ecuador, uh, I have very good friends in Brazil, and I am spreading Burmese martial arts and Burmese boxing, led way, uh, yeah. in all those countries. So right now I'm full of things to do, and uh, yeah, uh, they are really, really enjoying all these uh, Burmese martial arts. As well in Mexico, I have some uh, friends in other states that are okay. working really hard. Okay, very good. Are, are you going to be in the tournament in May? Are you gonna be there? I am not feeling well. I have to listen to the doctors, med med medical doctors. I can't hear well, I can't walk. I get, I have to have nurses. I see, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, I also need to have, a I walk on a wheelchair, I can't walk. Oh, okay, okay. Well, the, the, the same thing happened to, to Sayaji Del Minor. He's right now uh, struggling with his back and he's not able to, to walk a lot. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling sad that this is going on. But, but I won't be helpful. I can't show you anything. No, no I problem. Think, I think you should go to Canada no, to visit the world Ledway champion, a Canadian. Oh, Dave LaDuke. Yeah. Oh, I, I, as, yeah, uh, he already, we, we already talked and he's supposed to come to Mexico uh, this year uh, or maybe yeah. next. Um, he's in Turkey right now. He just uh, become a father and he moved to Tur Turkey, but he already signed our contract. Uh, so he will come to Mexico City anytime soon to, to conduct some seminars and all. Uh, I'm trying to... To, to get along with all different Ledway fighters all around the world. And yeah, David Ledoux is a world champion. Yes. Yes. And he, he, and he is. And uh, a lot of Ledway say, uh, talk to him. So he understand the history, history of Ledway. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't go back to Burma because I am against the government. I know. I am anti-government, military government. So they'll put me in jail. I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. As a matter of fact, I have some friends in Burma. Uh, I have, uh, for a long while, we have been talking and two of them already died. They, uh, they, the government shot them. Uh, oh. because and some of their friends are uh, struggling with the situation. So uh, things are rough. Things are very rough. What I, I hope I can visit Burma uh, one day. That, that's some of my, one of my dreams. No, the country is in terrible shape. And uh, there's too many riots, too many disturbances. It may not be safe for you. Well, may, may, maybe in some in some years, maybe I don't know. If things if, if things get better, I will try. But right yeah. now, it's gonna be difficult, as you say. I yeah. have a very good relationship with the Uma Thayan, Uma Thayan, and Rupa Thayan, which yeah. are like very important uh, Thayan masters, and uh, they have been uh, supporting me. And they know that I I train under you and. They have been very supportive with my Burmese uh, endeavors.
we're yes. martial arts yes. yes. For now, I think you should talk to David Ledoux. Yes, we, we, we talk. We, we talk a lot. Uh, we have been talking for a while. And as soon as things get better, also, we will invite him to Mexico again because uh, we couldn't make it because he, he uh, became a father and because of the pandemic, because of COVID-19. I create the you the WAF. I created the WAF, which is the Burmese Burmese Ledway Union, American Union, and he's uh, he's very important for us also because he has been six times the world champion of Ledway. Yes, yes. so he beat many time boxers. Yes, David Duke beat Thai boxers. Yes, uh, he, he went to the to uh, to Thailand to fight. Uh, he was in a in an event called Prison Prison Wars, which is a Thailand tournament uh, held inside a prison a prison, and he fought there and he won all. And he also fought uh, in other in other tournaments against Muay Thai and he won. He's a great fighter. He he truly is. And. Uh... He is, he is willing to take punishment. Yes. Yes, See, it's like a Mexican Jaguar. You know, he can take punishment. He's yeah, very yeah. Jaguar can fight. Other Jaguars, they can fight uh, big pythons, eh? boa constrictors. And uh, they can fight other animals, and it is the strongest animal in in Mexico, in the world. To me, they can they can defeat lions from Africa, and tigers from Burma, India, and Thailand. And it can kill tigers. It is so strong. And so, when you do the jaguar form. You have to show it is the strongest animal in the world. Yes, yes. I need to get a stronger for sure. Yes, I, I understand. I will. I, I'm 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 doing my best to to get bigger and stronger. Uh, yeah, eat some, eat some more food. And do some weight lifting. Weight lifting, yes. Yeah, yes, to get bigger. Definitely, definitely. You 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 gotta you gotta be big as Canelo Alvarez. <laughs> yeah. He is the best in the world. Nobody yes. can beat him. Yeah. Yes, he is. He is. I, I, I don't know if you if you know that I met him. I met him when Sam Jones came to Mexico a long time ago. Sa, uh, Sayaji Sam Jones came to with one of his fighters uh, to fight yes. Canelo. And he came to me and we were together. And I was with uh, with him in the in the ring, and I met uh, Canelo and, and all that. And yeah, he he wasn't as big of a star as he is now, but uh, he was getting there, and he's a great fighter. Yeah, I think he is going to be a great fighter for a long time. Yes, yes, he's still young, and he has been around for a long time. So we will hear of, about him for for many years still. Yes. So I want you, Ivan, to become a Canelo of Bando. Okay. The Canelo of Bando. Okay. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. I think it's a good ambition. Yes. And if you say so, I will definitely try those. So definitely. Yes. And uh, people admire you for your enthusiasm and your energy. But you have to show how strong you are. You have to gain respect from your skill. Right. Yes, I agree. I agree completely. I agree completely. Yes, I need to do to work a lot on that. Uh, I, to, I want to promote you again to the next level. Uh, the last time uh, I got promoted. The yes. last time I was promoted to sixth level of achievement. Yes. You said 
you said you think to to J. George, our president, and I told him that I'm promoting you, and he will do that for you. He, you send him the certificate, and he will stamp it. He will sign it. He will ask me to sign it. I will sign it. Okay. So you want me to to write uh, Jerry George about this? Yes. Email him. I will email him. Send in your certificate, and he will send back my promotion. I think you need to be promoted. He agrees. He agrees that you should be promoted. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I will definitely do that. And yes, sure. Thank you so much. So then, if everything goes, yeah, it's already it's already agreed. Okay. So, it's all right. We are. I already talked already. So then uh, I would be seven level of achievement? Yes. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Yi. Thank you. Yeah, if you if you finish your if you look like Canelo Avarez, I'll yes. go to you to to eighth. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. That that's that's good. I will I will uh, be living in a in a gym for now. I will just move to a gym. And live there until I get bigger. <laughs> yeah, you got to be big because you want to represent Jaguar. Jaguar is a very big animal. It's not a tiny pussy cat. Yes, yes, I, I I know that. Actually, their jaw is the strongest can uh, can break skulls. Like it's really really strong. It's stronger than lions and tigers. Yes. Yeah, and he's really agile. Yes, as a matter of fact, I don't know if I told you that I went to a, a ceremonial place in Mexico, an archaeological area where the old Aztecs were promoted to Jaguar warriors and Eagle Knights. And I, were, I went there. It's a, a temple in the top of a mountain called Malinalco. And, yes. And the the guardian of that place uh, made a ceremony to me uh, and then a grandmaster of a pre-Hispanic martial art uh, made a look look onto my zodiac sign like a Mayan or Aztec sign and then imagine what I am Jaguar good yeah I, I mean serious he, she told me your your sign in a, for Mexican zodiac sign is Jaguar. Wonderful, I mean wonderful. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. And as you said, Jaguar from you, Jaguar from them. So I guess I am Jaguar now. <laughs> yeah, because it is the most powerful animal in the world. So you have to. Your body, the way you walk, the way you move, you must look like a jaguar. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I will, I will, I will. I, I, I want you to make you, I want to make you proud, proud of me. I'm already proud of you. Prouder. I want you to be prouder of me, so I will try harder. <laughs> Not only, the whole world will be proud of you. The whole of Mexico will be proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Th thank you. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, I don't know what to tell you after this, but yeah. I, th th thank you. Really, thank you. And also, I wanted to tell you that I have been doing a lot of cookery training. I have been training the military here in Mexico, the Navy in Mexico as well, some special forces teams. I have one of my students is in the military college uh, teaching as well in the special forces. And I am in the intelligence uh, unit uh, of the Navy teaching some cookery as well. And we have been, uh, you know, not only training them on on the Trevi 9 and all those things, but also we have been uh, researching. When we are training, we, we, we do it in a way of that 
that we can find different answers and uh, different approaches. And we have been doing this really hard for, a for the last five years. Over here. Under hand. And side hand draw. And try to watch uh, Gary Layton Mr. from Georgia, Gary Layton. Oh, Gary Layton. Yes, yes. Yes, he may send you some video for you because he he does that at the military ceremonies. Yeah, and, and he and he's also a very good uh, in the panther in the par panther form and the yoga bando yoga as well, right? Yes, I think you should do a little bit of yoga to to make your spine your spine too stiff. Your muscles should be more flexible and strong. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I love Panda Yoga. Jaguar is very flexible. He can climb trees. He can swim. You know, he can kill an alligator. Yes, yes. I, I, I have seen that. I have, seen, I have watched videos of, of that happen. Yeah, yes. he can kill a crocodile. Yes. And it's so powerful and he can roll and he can his body is very flexible and strong yes yes it is it, it, may i ask you some questions that i uh, may ask before but i would like you to now that i am recording this uh, meeting i would like to to ask you again uh, about all these in, figures of the past, like Bruce Lee, Jet Li, Steven Seagal. I know that you have met, or you met some of them in the past. And I would just like you to, to tell me your, you know, like your ideas on them. Like, let's start with Bruce Lee. What can you tell me about him? And uh, did you spar? Did you train? Did you, how did you meet each other? Oh, he is much better than I am. I was. He was probably the he brought martial art to the United States. His movies, his movies were inspire millions of people around the world. Yes. Yes, he inspired all of us. So he was a teacher of teachers. But did you have the chance to, to train with him or uh, fight or spar with him? I have a several chance to talk to him. And we talked about the essence of uh, of his system. See, every system has a spiritual side of it, spiritual side. We talk about what is the spiritual essence of Jikondo. There's a spiritual side of Kempo. There's a spiritual side of Shotokan. There's a spiritual side of Jujutsu. Yes, yes. And uh, we have to learn the spiritual side of Bando. Okay. So you you like him. You 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 did like uh, Bruce Lee. Uh, you you get along well. You didn't have any. Yes, he was a teacher of teachers. Awesome. Okay. And what, what about the uh, Jet Li? I know that you you met Jet Li as well. Only short time. He was a world champion kung fu tournament yes. in Beijing, and he became a movie star. He is, of course, he is very good, but I. But he are not able, he is not as dynamic as Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was a philosopher. I knew him when he was going to college. He was studying philosophy. Oh, okay. In the University of Washington? Yes. He was a student of philosophy. I was a professor, you know, already. Mm. So I met him when he was a student. Okay. Uh, were you impressed by his attitude and his skills? No, I was impressed by his 
curiosity of the philosophy of martial arts. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. The philosophy of martial arts. And uh, what about Jackie Chan? Jackie Chan is, uh, of course, excellent martial artist, but his movie is more like comedy. Yes, yes. I, I, I don't know. I haven't, I have never met him, but uh, he seems like a very good person. Did you ever had a chance to, to, to meet him? Did you knew him? Very short time. Oh, really? A long time ago? Yes. In Hong Kong. In Hong Kong. I, I, and did you just talk or you, you train or what happened? Oh, no, just talk. Okay. And I want you to be, I want I, mean, I want you to be Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, Jet Lee, all three of them in you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That is my my wish for you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I will try my best. Okay, you will you will be. I bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. It, and one more. Yes. What about Steven Seagal? What do you think about uh, this this person, Steven Seagal? I've never met him, mm. but he was, I think, in a movie show he did. Uh, he was a good actor, good action actor. As a martial artist, see, Aikido is not a violent sport. Aikido is a uh, Peaceful. It's not, but he tried to teach, impress Aikido as very violent. It is not. Okay. Aikido, okay. Yeah, Aikido is a non-violent system of martial arts. Right. Like, like kind of like uh, the Ponji system, like the like the monk system within Pando. Yes. yes. So that is one thing he misinterpreted Aikido. Did, did he did he ever uh, look to, for you like to train bando or to train something? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Have you heard of Guru Anasanto? Yes, I met him. Yes, I know that you uh, you conduct some seminars in his uh, in his uh, school in Marina del Rey in California. I have seen some videos of you and and Ethan Minor uh, conducting some seminars with Guru and yeah. Guru Dan is is a uh, is as you is like a like a living legend. Yes, he and I are very good friends. We exchanged ideas together. Yeah, he, yeah. He is eclectic. Yes, yes, he's a an, an amazing person, and uh, just. A few hours ago, I was watching a video of his son-in-law, uh, Ron Baliki. I met him in Mexico City many years ago. Uh, and when I went to California, maybe four years ago, I went to, to Guru Dani Santos Academy to, to meet I him. Think he, I think Ron married his Guru's daughter. Yes, Diana Lee Santos. Yes, he is very talented teacher. And a very good person as well. Yes. Yes. yes and um, when I met Guru Dan, he was training Prodal. He was training a Prodal system. And I, I met his uh, instructor there. And uh, we were talking about Ledway and Muay Thai and all. Yes. I think Guru is all rounded. He's, he tried to integrate different different systems at his school. Yes, yes, yes. Well, and one, one question, one more question. What do you want to happen in the, in the ABA and in the Bando in general? What do you want? How do you foresee Bando in the future? See, we are not commercial school, so we can't compete with ta Taekwondo, or many other, or UFC, we can't compete. 
because we are not here to make money. We are a nonprofit organization. See, I don't get any money from anybody. I taught for 80 years, not one penny. So, so, uh, many, so many martial arts schools are commercial schools. So commercial, they have a different focus, how to sell their system. I'm not here to sell the system. I just want to say we are a part of the family, family of martial arts. Right. Okay. We are no more greater. We are not superior. We just want to show we exist. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I like what you're saying. Uh, but then uh, there there are so many different aspects within the martial within the bando system. You know, like Navan, uh, yoga, Tayang, Minzin, and all those. Uh, do you like? Would you like them to? To keep together as a whole, like as a like a, like a unit a unity, or do you foresee them like in different branches in different areas, like growing it's, along? It's, it's like a tree with different branches. Eh? It's a tree and different aspects of it. Like in Okinawan karate, they don't only practice. They do all kinds of weapon, sai, tufa, nunchaku, bo. Huh? So it is similar to Okinawan karate. You cannot get Okinawan karate certificate unless you learn other, other weapon systems. Bo, nunchaku, tufa. Huh? Right. Hey, hey, Dr. G. Hey. When was the first, the first time you ever uh, fought? I know that you fought in Japan, in Burma, and in and I don't know if in China. But when was the first time? Well, how old were you? I was 16 years old. Okay. And I and I fought in Lehue. I lost all my fights. Oh really? <laughs> in Lehue? Yeah. And uh, I, because that way it takes a lot of pain endurance. Somebody hit you, headbutt you, elbow you, knee you. You are not the same person. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. And the, and the pain is too great. I, I, I've heard that. I hear from a, from some person, random person, that you you fought in the Olympics, or that's not, that's a a, a legend, a conception. No. <laughs> um, Somebody is pulling your leg. Okay, okay, yeah. Well, some some said some somebody told me that you you were a boxing fighter in a, in the Olympics many years ago. Uh, you know they are. They used to have an Olympic karate also in the 1960s, 70s, 80s. So karate at the time, some people call it Olympic karate in, in America. So they have tournaments and they call it Olympic karate tournament. So it's just the name, eh? the name of the school, Olympic karate. In New York, Chicago, they have that. And uh, I fought in the elimination fight for the olympic that makes sense that's what that's what happened then i am 90 years old i served in the world war ii as a Gurk, young gurkha soldier i was in the 10th gurkha rifles that, that that should be really really tough and really difficult for you yeah i still have a lot of bad dreams because japanese were very very dangerous fighters. They defeated the Americans in the Philippines, the British in Malaya, Burma. So I was fighting when Japan invaded India. They wanted to take over India. Okay. So, so it, at the time I was a medic, medical corps, and my job was to save many wounded people 
And uh, so that brings a lot of bad memories, seeing a lot of wounded. The Japanese soldiers were very cruel. When they capture you, they will tie you to a tree and they bayonet, usually as a bayonet practice. Wow, I cannot imagine that. Well, well, what can I tell you? I, 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 you, you decided to move to the States pursuing a, a career or you were like fleeing the situation in the, in the Middle yes. East? So at the time, the military took over Burma under General Ne Win, and he put a lot of students, university students to jail. So I wrote against an anti-government news, news, newspaper. So I was, in, I was put in jail for one month. So my father said, it's time to leave the country. So I left the country, yeah. So, so you were a prison for a month, a prisoner for a month. Yes, because I wrote newspaper article against the government. Uh, when you moved to the to the states, uh, things were difficult as well because uh, because you were a Burmese person in in the states. Yes, it's very hard for me. I didn't want to start bando. I started bando as a form of self defense. Uh, I was living in D.C. and many people, embassy staff were attacked by street gangs. That's how I started. I defended myself against young juvenile delinquents and okay. they, robbed, they robbed the embassy staff. So I defended, so I fought them. So I fought dirty. I didn't fight like a clean boxing. I do kicks and they, they haven't seen kicks. A lot of box, the box is standing straight and I'll kick them in the leg and kick in the balls. <laughs> okay. And okay. they call me a dirty boxer, dirty fighter. Yeah, right, yeah. okay. And there, there I started People said they want to learn how to defend against them. So that's how I started Bando. And all the other information about Dayang, Minsin, Yoga, uh, did you bring information with you? Uh, your dad sent you information or how, how, what happened there? That information came from my father. My father was a director of physical education for the country. He felt that after the war, the country need to be healthy, youth, healthy youth. And so he wants to raise the standard. See, physical education is very strong in Japan. And if you go to Japan, if you go to school, they will teach you karate as part of physical education program. If you go to Thailand, Muay Thai is part of school program. In Korea, Japan, China. Eh? Yes. To, to elevate the, the health and well-being of the people and also to bring pride in their history, in their own culture. So Japanese karate, if you go to university, you can take <coughs> Shotokan as part of your university course. If you go to Korea, you go to school, you have to take Taekwondo. Right. If you go to Thailand, you go to Thai school, you can study Muay Thai. So that is what my father was trying to do, but not to, just to elevate the health and well-being of the people. Martial art also teach you the history of a country okay. and, the, and the discipline of a country. It is not to kill people. It is not for to elevate the culture. In, in Thailand, Muay Thai is, is sanctioned by the king and by all the industries, military, and the sports, you know, and villages and towns. It's a part of Thai culture. Yes, yes. 
So Muay Thai is one of the most feared and respected martial arts in the world. It is. Yes, it is. I have a picture of you with the king of Thailand. You have it? Okay. Yes, I have a copy of it. I have a copy of it, of you with the king of Thailand. Where, why were you with him? He was visiting because I was the advisor to many Thai students in America. Oh, so Thai okay. students come to my university. I was the advisor. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. So Thai, Thai government want to up, upgrade their education. They send not only to America, they send to England, to Germany, huh? to Russia, to Japan. So many Thai students go all over the world to Canada. Uh, by the way, um, have you ever heard about uh, a Burmese instructor, a Burmese Aya, uh, from England uh, that changed his name to Richard Morris, I believe? Yes. That start there. He start bando in England, I believe, right? Yes, in England. Did you ever meet him? Yes, I met his family. His family were fought in World War II. They were part of the Burma Army, and uh, and he and he was a good friend of mine for many years, for thirty years. Uh, Richard Morris was. Yeah, Morris. He changed his name because uh, it was easy for him to, because the name was too difficult for English people to pronounce it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I have two other, other questions that I wanted to talk, I had to ask you about. One is, did you ever met uh, Morihei Washiba from Aikido? Uh, I met him. I. You know, what do you mean by meeting? Thousands of people met Ushiba from a distance. Oh, okay. Yeah, meeting is that you study under him. I did not study under him. Just watch him. Yes, at the Budokan in Japan, they have a lot of exhibition. What about Mas Oyama from Kyokushin? Yes, I met him in America. What do you think about him? Yes, he was there. His system was very popular around the world, Kyoko Shinkai. I have a picture of him with me. W were you friends? Yes. Did, did you ever uh, train together? No. He is senior to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, he uh, is world famous. I am nobody compared to him. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're humble. This is different. You're humble, but you are a lot more than you believe, for sure. Uh, uh, I know that Ed Parker's son uh, gave you a 10 degree uh, level in Kempo Karate uh, from Ed Parker's system. Did you ever uh, practice? with Ed Parker and Tino Tulio Sega? Yeah, Ed Parker and I were good friends. I just wanted to know that, uh, no, his uh, compadre, uh, by the name Tino Tulio Sega, this uh, from Lima Lama system. Have you heard about him? What is his name? Tino, Tino Tulio Sega, from Lima Lama martial arts from Hawaii. I don't know. Okay, okay. I'm just curious about it. When Ed Parker Jr. sent you the 10 level, the 10 dan in his system, I was there and I, I watched the, your certificate and it was a very nice certificate because uh, it has all the nine animals on the bando system and it says that you are 10 degree black belt in Ed, Ed Parker's Kempo system. No, I'm not 10. I'm number one. <laughs> well, you're, you're humble. The same thing with Joe Lewis. I remember I met Joe Lewis thanks, thanks to you. And I know that you were uh, promoted in his system also as a very, like a 
top of the top in your Louis system. Yes, I promoted Joe Louis. He was a friend of mine. I was his chief instructor. Uh, and Bill Wallace as well, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, they are both great fighters of America. I don't think they can beat Canelo Everest. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, and what about Benny Urquides? No, I, that was, he was from the West Coast, East Coast, Chicago, I think. Okay. I don't know them too well. Okay, okay. Well, thank you so much for answering all my questions. I'm sorry for asking me, as, asking you all these things. I'm pretty sure that you are tired for people asking you the same questions, but uh, it was it was a very good opportunity. Okay, let me it. say some. Let me say something. You are keep yourself handsome. I don't want your face to be to be cut because you are you have a face of a movie star. Thank and, you. <laughs> yeah. And I want you to develop your body so you will look like Canelo Alvarez. If you are going to develop a Jaguar system, you have to look like a Jaguar body. Your body okay. is still too small for it. Yes, I agree with you. I will, I will. I, I, I'm, I'm doing it actually. Okay. And thank thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I will send you pictures of me when I get bigger. Yes, I think you should. And uh, I think you should put your energy in that. Someday you may be a good martial arts star in the Mexican movies. That would be great. That would be very, very good. That, that would be, be Yeah. And uh, as I said, I'm 90 years old and I can't continue too much active activities. I am, I have problem of hearing, I have problem of seeing, I have problem of walking. What? When is your birthday? March, 1930. March, 1930. But which day, when, 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 is, when, you're, when do you celebrate your birthday? Last week. Oh, really? I'm sorry. Oh, congratulations. A happy birthday. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Uh, did, did you have a good time? I, I stay by myself. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I hope I, you know that I wish you the best. And what can I tell you? I, I, I never, I never uh, said this, tell you this, but one time in the 50 anniversary, not the 55, the 50 anniversary of Bando in the States, I was alone in, in I was uh, the only Mexican in this, in this area. There were all people from all over and I was the only Mexican. And I, I watched some Japanese people uh, thanking you, being very, very thankful for what you teach them. People from the military, people from the Navy, people from, from policemen, all kinds of people that were there and everybody was thanking you for all your service and all that you have ever done. And I was the only Mexican there and I was thinking to myself, I wish all my students can see this, can see what I'm seeing now because a lot of people are, uh, very important people are uh, being, very, very thankful with you. Where was that? I can't remember. This was, uh, it was the 50th anniversary. It was inside a hotel. And I'm not sure if it was, I'm not, I don't know if it was in Atlanta or in Washington. I don't remember exactly where was it because uh, five years later in the 55, 55th anniversary, I was obviously over there, and then I understood. I, I then I, I understood why uh, everybody was so impressed by you because I was impressed by then. But the first time I, I was in this event, 
I was very uh, amazed by the people that military people, uh, all kind of people that were like thanking you for all your service. Anyway, I want you to listen. My teachers, the people, my closest friends, Kempo, Ed Parker was probably one of the great American martial artists. And uh, Peter Urban, Goju Ru, American Goju. Okay. He was my good, very good friend. And Guru Anasanto, Bruce Lee's partner. He was my teacher also. So they are all my great teachers. Without them, I cannot survive. They encourage me and they they help me keep me keep my fire under me. So I owe them our bando association owe to Bruce Lee, Guru Nasanto, Peter Urban, and Ed Parker. All these people were my teachers. And I want you to look into the, the spiritual aspect of Bando in future. I okay. will. All right. I will. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for, for your all your knowledge and your uh, sharing all the all the history. And I I hope I can go to the States soon because I would love I would love to to visit you and to, to take a present to you because I wasn't uh, because I didn't know that it was your birthday. So I, I hope I can go. And, Don't worry uh, about it. Uh, all I want is best for you. I want you to be the best of yourself. I we all look look at you as the best of Mexico. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much. And well, uh, I'll be here whenever you want me to be. And uh, I always ready to answer any questions you have. And I will train my best to. Okay. I want to ask you one thing. I want you to be my grandson. Yes. 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 So I, I when you are my grand grandson. Yes, I, and you're my my granddad. Thank you so much. I'm very, I'm very humble. Thank you. Thank you. I definitely. <laughs> Th th you thank you, friend. granddad. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, have a great night. And uh, please uh, give my best to your family, to both yeah. your daughters, daughters, and to Pat. And uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you. And I'm looking forward for your for your growth. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, I'm I'm training hard. Okay. Love to all. Love to Mexico. And Mexico loves you back. Yeah, viva la Mexico. <laughs> viva Mexico. Okay. Thank See you. Me. Yeah. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye.